Hey, here I am at NRG. I've got my parking ticket right there. $12 cash. And we're going to go see, guess what? RV show. Hey, wait a second. Haven't we already done this? Oh, this must be one of those year in review videos. How annoying. Well, I started this channel way back in 2019 on January 25th. That's two whole years ago. How time flies when you're having fun. Guess that means it's time for Years, years in, in Review. review. Who's saying you? Everybody wave! I haven't seen Alzheimer's at all. I'm gonna keep looking to see if I can't find one. Just walking around, what do I find? My active! This is my active! Both Roadtrack and Heimer are, as we know now, in limbo and they may never recover. Hey, here we are at the first stop on our exciting trip to Little Rock, Whataburger. Howdy. We're at the Clinton birthplace home, which apparently is different from the Clinton home. But we're actually not at the home, we're at the tourist office, which is next to the home. I don't get it either. Here we are at Hafer Center. Alright, here we are at Vale Mansion. Day one of our adventure and running in an RV. Here we are in Fredericksburg. Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! Alright, here we are in Bentonville, where you can also see... Walmart Museum. Here we are in exciting Hamilton, Mecca for all quilters. We have arrived to do our pilgrimage. All hail the quilt. Here I am at another quilt shop. It makes her happy. You're very wonderful. You brought me to the quilting store and I got more stuff. More stuff to put in the closet of shame. Uh, this is the view from our hotel room in Little Rock. of COVID. Snake party, baby. Take a second or two to show the Travado KL that we're renting. So, what do you both think of this experience so far? <laughs> we'll see tonight whether I suffocate Robert in his sleep <laughs> while he snores. This is fun. What do you think? Yes, it is. What do you think, Jerry? Yes, I think it's fun too. Oh, oh. <laughs> Say hello to the Rota Lifers. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Roads of Life fans. This is what you do when you and your husband are on different schedules and in a tight enclosed space. You use your nook and this handy dandy oven rack <laughs> to light your way while you make your all-important coffee and breakfast. Helpful hints from Susan. There is a toilet. I like it. <laughs> there is. Very nice on the inside. It is. I, it's I didn't nice. expect to be able to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> the 107th Follower. subscriber to Roads of Life. Yes. He deserves a hand. 
Real, real subscription. <laughs> not, not these Russian robots. <laughs> Very cool. You want one now? Yeah, kind of. Very nice. Winnebago's going to start owing me money because you're all going to want one. Well, all right, right around 6.15 this morning, this thing was at zero. Now it's at about 45%. It's 8.15. Hey, lifers. Here we are at the airport getting ready to go to Tampa, Florida. And what's there? Florida RV Super Show. All right, lifers, we've made it to the RV Super Show. Woo! Let's see what we see. Finally, an RV for me. The sewing machine would fit right here. And on the other side, we have the craft doors for all my little sewing notions. Yay! <laughs> We had to take our shoes off to come in. It's a house. <laughs> Grab your RV for you. <laughs> so here we are in the Winnebago. I gotta say from uh, my perspective, I like the design because if I'm gonna be on the road for three months at a time, I'm going to need a fair amount of clothes and food and supplies as, as well as my crafts and things that help me keep my sanity and so this spacious area back here looks like it would be ideal here we are last day and we're going to cracker barrel also known as the dead chicken because they serve a lot of chicken here also, please note, Cracker Barrels quite often have RVs park here. So I need an RV. Another daddy long legs. Yeah, another one here too. Oh, sir, don't come towards me. We are at Watkins Woolen Mill and Homestead. It is a lovely day. And you can touch the buildings if you don't want to pay the tour. That's all I gotta say about that. Center in Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, Heifer International is a uh, group that is dedicated to ending hunger and poverty while taking care of the earth. Which I started as a band conversion company building band conversions like every other company in Elkhart did. A hydronic uses a gallon of fuel in 20 hours and it's a Coleman lantern on steroids that heats up antifreeze and pumps it through the engine block. Well I'm retiring in 327 days so I'm coming here to make my final choice in an RV. Wow. <laughs> Four years. I'm jealous. Robert is my brother who helps make the stones. Really? Lives in Texas. And lives in Texas. Texas stone here. Yeah. So here we go. This is Aline. Huh? See? I got it right. Yeah. <laughs> and she does Texas stone crosses. All right? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. 
Yeah, so all of the stuff on the side of the room is my art. I do a lot of recycled materials. I'm trying to work away from just flat paint on a canvas. Hello, lifers. Here we are at the Oliver Inn, talking to Tom Erlinson of the Oliver Inn. Bed and breakfast. Yes. Bed and breakfast. So, uh, this home was built by James Oliver, who was the founder of the Oliver Farm Equipment Company, and he built this as a wedding present for his daughter. So, I had this wonderful video, and it was great, and none of it came out. And she had this wonderful history, and she talked all about the town, and all about everything, and they had a photograph of this little tiny kid, and he had grown up to be the barber, and it was a wonderful video, and gone. Ignore costs, determine values, deal breakers, money matters, final obstacles. Everyone poops. Well, it's, it's true, we all do it. At 3.50 p.m. and 24 seconds, on January 4th, 2020, exactly 1% of the year will have gone by. We only have 99% of this year left to be kind, to be forgiving, to love, to honor, to support, to make a difference. Let us resolve, at least for now, to do just that. 99 times. I think the idea of this short video is to say that you can do this. Uh, we are not made of money and I've researched it and it is doable. Now's the time to buy. Get a new RV for as low as $561 a month. Quiet you. I hear what I'm saying. That's what you are. Oh, dude, did you say hi? We need to dialogue in order to think outside the box while expanding our bubble. Oh, wow, that's heavy, man. Now, let's face it. Used is the only way to go. How do you do it? You did me heat in. <laughs> I'm rich. Rich. I'm rich. <laughs> think of the groovy pet I could get with that kind of scratch. They must move the goalposts by leveraging synergies, taking a helicopter view of the... Are you speaking English? That's pure dead brilliant! But used RVs are going to have a lot of hidden issues. Wiring, old appliances, leaks, tires and batteries that need replacing. Let's touch base soon. We can schedule a scenario-based roundtable discussion, utilizing an infrastructure survey tool to architect a risk-based tiering system, progressively utilizing a low-risk, high-yield app. Got a split, man. Bang loose. Be seeing you. Haste you back. In the time of COVID.